Hey gang, this is Mike with my Real Estate Dojo, and today's lesson is about bandit signs and what bandit signs and how should you use your bandit signs to get the max amount of money for your real estate business, okay? It doesn't matter if you're a realtor or if you're a real estate investor, okay? So let me recap it one more time. Today's lesson is about bandit signs and what is the best band of signs to get the most amount of lead generation for your business so you can buy houses for a deep discount or you could get rental properties or fix and flips via owner financing, guys. Now, everybody always asks me, Mike, do you like band of signs? I love band of signs. Just a couple of weeks ago, I did a video about how 2017 is not the best time to use band of signs. If you do use band of signs, you have to like be a transformer, you have to use two or three different modules. For example, you have to use banner signs, you have to use Facebook retargeting, and then you have to use my, my what I call my PLM uh, massive mailing system where when these people start calling you, you start retargeting them and then you start mailing out to them. So it's gonna have to be a three part uh, process to get the maximum amount of leads from your banner signs because even though they're a cheap way to advertise, it still costs you money. So some of you guys are saying, Mike, what is a bandit sign? Okay, this is a bandit sign right here, okay guys? Uh, this bandit sign says, hey, behind on payments, I'll buy your house, and here's the phone number, and if you call this number, it's a pre-recorded message um, that tells the customer, what do I do, so they don't think I'm a retail buyer, or they don't think, you know, I'm a realtor, okay? Now, this video is about how to get, use the best bandit signs to get the most leads, okay? And so what I want to talk about is that if you want to get the best results, okay, you have to use two types of band of signs, uh, handwritten band of signs and professionally made band of signs. And you have to use a combination of both. The reason is that some people will not call you if it doesn't look professional like this, okay? That's how they are, all right? Other people are not going to call you if it looks professional like that, but they'll call you if it's handwritten. So if you want to get the best results from nine years of doing band signs, I've learned that you have to use the combination of professionally and handwritten, ugly. And you'll be wondered why some people will call you from this, why other people will call you from this. I can't figure it out, just how people are, guys, okay? Now, so that's the point number one is that band signs need to have twofold, handwritten and professional. If you're not doing both, you're losing 50% of the market because 50% of people will not call you if you don't know how to have a professional and 50% won't call you if they have it handwritten, okay? So if you're just doing handwritten, just know that if you're not getting a lot of leads, it's because you're only getting 50% of the population that were motivated are, are gonna call you, okay? Now, let's talk about the most important part uh, of the band assignment. Many of us, when, when we do band assignments, we just do band assignment that says, we buy houses. And out of the band of signs that I'll do, let's say if I was doing 200, I would only have 10% that says we buy houses because it's so generic, okay? So generic, uh, and you're not gonna get the same kind of results. Some people will call this, but not everybody, okay? Uh, the other 90% of my band of signs are gonna be what I call sniper rifle, where I call FC formula. You focus and you cut, okay? What do I mean by that, okay? In this band of sign here, okay, if you're driving and it says divorce, okay, you see this? I'll buy your house. So this is what I call a sniper rifle approach. I, I done the FC formula, I focused and I cut. So on this one, when somebody's driving and they see this and they're going to a divorce, they're more likely to call this number, okay? Versus one that says we buy houses. Even though both people are in the same situation, they wanna sell their home, or they're motivated, they wanna sell their home, they may not, if I'm going to a divorce and I'm driving by and I stop at a stoplight, somebody that says we may buy houses, I may not connect the dots. I'm going to a divorce, but I'm not connecting the dots, okay, on this one. So I might not get a call you on this one. But if I'm going the same exact road, I'm sitting at the same exact light, I'm going to a divorce, I see a sign that talks about divorces, guess what? I'm gonna be more likely to call this one than one that says generically made that says we buy houses, 
okay? Same thing with this, guys. This is behind on payments. Here, it says we buy houses. I mean, this can be anybody. Anybody that wants to sell a home with a realtor may think this may fit for them. Somebody that's behind in payment may fit for them. Somebody that's you know, going to a divorce may fit for them. But the point of the story is, it's so generic that most people are not gonna relate to you, okay? Where this one says behind on payments, I'm, I'm driving on the road. If I am personally behind on my payment, on my house, I will call you. If I'm not behind on my payments and I just wanna sell my house with a realtor, I'm not gonna call this number. And the great thing is, I don't want all these people that want to list with the realtor to call me either because it's going to suck up a lot of my fucking resources, my VA's resources. We don't have time for that shit. What we're looking for is a specific type of audi audience, a motivated seller. I'm looking to buy houses from only motivated sellers. I'm not looking to buy houses from investors. I'm not looking to buy houses from fucking uh, realtors. I'm not looking to buy houses from people that are not motivated, dude. Okay? My target audience with this sign is if you're behind in payments, you call me because I specialize in behind in payments. This one says, if you go into a divorce, you call me. This one says, we buy houses. It just says, hey, I'm so generic that I can wipe my own ass. Now, again, do I believe in we buy houses? Yes, but I only do, t if I was going to do 200 signs, I would only have maybe like 10 or 20 we buy houses. The remaining are very targeted to like divorces, like behind on payments, and there's so many other situations out there, guys, that um, that you tailor. Now, if you don't have any ideas what to get into, you need to get into my insiders club, guys, uh, my mastermind. I'm going to be starting this up, and it's going to be 97 bucks, and we'll meet once a week to help you in your business. It doesn't matter if you're a realtor, you're a real estate investor, or you're just an entrepreneur, you need to get in my mastermind. It's gonna be 97 bucks if you're interested. PM me, or leave a comment. I haven't launched it out, but I've been working on it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna meet on a weekly basis and come out with information to help you succeed in your business, uh, just like I'm doing right now, okay? Now, let, let me show you some more other signs that I have, okay? Once again, see how it says stop foreclosure? So as you can see, there's basically three or four or five pools that I really love to, to deal with. And one of the pools that I like to deal with is behind on their payments. Because there's a lot of motivation here. I'm a master of subject to, I'm a master of getting deals on our financing. I'm a master of not going to banks. And the way to do that is to deal with motivated sellers. And so my marketing is just targeted for motivated sellers. In this case, behind on payments, I stop foreclosure. In this case, divorce, I help you out, guys. In this case, the same exact thing behind on payments, okay? Now, there's a couple of other uh, target areas that I do have, but if you want to get in my mastermind, I share that with you, but this is all I can give, give out for free for you. I know a lot of people are not even doing this. They want you to go into a sales funnel to give you this kind of information, guys, okay? So, let's kind of sum, summarize it up, but before I do, I also want to talk about Okay, that I do have Spanish written bandit signs. And these work really great. So let's say you're Arabic, or let's say you're Indian, or, or you speak Urdu, or let's say you're, you're Iranian, you speak Farsi, right? Then what you gotta do is translate the stuff in your own language and hit out those target areas of those farm areas where people of your culture live, right? So if, if I was Hispanic, right, I would put, I'm not Hispanic, but I do put Hispanic signs out, guys, because there's this sector of community, they're not gonna call somebody that has in English. They're just not gonna do that. They just feel more comfortable dealing with people in their own uh, language, their first language. So one thing that makes me have more advantage than my you know, American competitors is that I can speak multiple languages and I have signs in multiple languages and I go target different areas. If there's an India area with a bunch of Indians, and uh, Pakistani people, then I'm gonna be writing shit in Urdu. If there's an area with Iranian people, like California, like Westwood, then I'm gonna be writing shit in Iranian, dude. If I'm going to a Mexican part of town, a Latino part of town, I'm gonna write shit in this because the other competitors are not gonna be able to have the skills that I have in this. So to summarize it up, guys, three points. Number one is to get the best bang for your 
advertisement, guys, you need to have a handwritten like this and a professional because 50% of the market are, are not gonna call you with a handwritten and the other 50% are not gonna call you with this. So you need to have both of them working for you, okay? So that's point number one. Point number two is you need to make sure you're not just coming with generic like, hey, I'll buy your house or we buy a house and stuff because everybody and their mama is doing that. What you have to do is learn to do what I call the sniper rifle approach where you zoom in and you're targeting your audience and you know your audience like divorce, like uh, stop foreclosure, behind on payments, and etc. And the point number three is if you speak a different language, you got to use that for an advantage. And for example, you can write in different languages and you know, you, I'm not going to put this in a place where it's all white people. That doesn't make any sense. But if there's an area, there's a lot of Hispanic people and I want to buy houses there, then guess what? I'm, I'm going to use this. I'm not going to use this. Right? I mean, if, if you're a Hispanic guy or Hispanic person, who are you going to call if you're just, you know, you're deep down rooted? probably gonna call this one versus this guy dude okay so to summarize it up guys bandit signs are very very powerful now they're not legal in every county in every state but if you go to my real estate dojo I have a blog where I show you my hack how to get bandit signs legal in Pacific areas okay so I'm not gonna get into it here so you gotta go to my my real estate dojo.com search under how to make bandit signs legal and I have a video that I give you guys totally for free, like everything else I do. I'm here to give you this shit without any fluff and buff, how to get results. So bandit signs are not legal. Uh, I've gotten tickets for it. Um, the last time I got a ticket for it was, cost me 1500 bucks. Um, but again, I just added to the cost of doing business. Like if I had to do Facebook ads, or if I had to do uh, 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 Google site ads, or any other advertising, any door hangers, I just said, you know, that's just the cost of doing business uh, they do work I don't believe right now is the best time to do bandit signs uh, right now it's 2017 because the market is so hot um, but when the market crashes okay when the market crashes these bandit signs are gonna be like honey attracting flies guys uh, now in 2007 they will these things will still work but you got to be like a transformer you have to like plug in multiple different marketing into this like Facebook retargeting like my uh, PL, PLM uh, mailing system to combine it so when you put this band sign out people start calling you right you got to use now two other marketing to constantly be in front of them and follow up with them so you can get the deal where in 2007 2008 2009 you would put these up and there were so many people call you because the newspaper was saying the market's bad the TV was saying the market's bad Everybody around the corner was saying the market's bad. The taxi driver was saying the market's bad. The radio was saying the market's bad. So all the people had fear. All the home sellers had fear. You would put one of these things out and hundreds of people would call you. You didn't even have to do that much follow-up. Today, it's a little different. Everyone's saying the market is good. So if you use bandit signs by themselves, you may not get results like you used to do back in the days when the crash was there. But if you use my two hacks, what I call my Facebook retargeting, what I call my uh, PLM mailing system with this, then you're gonna explode, guys. Now guys, if you like these videos and you thought these were helpful, share with one of your friends. Let's get other people to have success as an entrepreneur. And please leave a comment and, and like. See you later, gang, and don't take no for an answer, guys. See ya.